we're going to work on the rear side uppercut. This is going to be the more long distance technique. This isn't the sort of Mike Tyson straight up close range one we're going to go. Sort of the medium to long distance. So what's happening is my center is located right here. It's a little different for everybody right about here. So my center is going to lower. Moving from my center, that's the first thing that moves. Dropping a little bit, because it's an uppercut, you need a little space to come back up again. Dropping here, and the same thing with all our techniques. Left hand guarding my face, my shoulder guarding the other side of my face, and then I rotate right back. There's none of this, which is so common, here, my hip straight back, follows the same line. I actually want to be up on the ball of my foot, on my rear leg, pushing up, giving a little bit of a raise, back down. We're facing. We go here. Dropping. Good, you can slip it, that's perfect. On here, right back. The, again, this isn't the uppercut where I'm drawing and coming straight up. There's a little bit of an arc in there for distance. Here, straight back. Hand up, shoulder. Here. Okay, go ahead. And you can just go. That's it. Push it off. It's that lowering and then raising up at the end that gives it more power. And we're gonna show the exact positioning of the feet on this so you can get an idea of that. So now we have a correct stance, we're gonna focus on the feet positioning. Also showing the center dropping. So my center is dropping. I'm gonna turn my center, coming up onto the ball of the foot, and then at the last second, my front foot, the ball of the foot lifts up slightly to get that uppercut power. Then I drop everything right back to my stance. Good stance, good equal foot positioning. Again, dropping, turning my center, all the way to where my back leg rotates, then a little up on the ball of the foot for that uppercut power, and then back down. So the application of the rear uppercut. This is a lot when your opponent is more open down the middle. It's not my, yes. Say you're throwing good hooks both sides, and then right up the center. But my main on this is when he jabs. This is if we're in this stance. Okay, he's jabbing. Catching it, right underneath. Okay, we're here. Make sense? Right underneath, right underneath his armpit, basically, and he doesn't see it coming, and it's amazing knockout blow. Go slow motion, right here. I can catch this with my other hand. I can also, I can also move off to the side. I can slip. He's here. I can also jab myself. This is a knockout blow because your opponent does not see it coming. It's in a blind spot. So that is the application of the rear uppercut.